All right, I have to get out of work mode. <laughs> Usually I have the gym before this, so I'm also, like- you have the M voice too. Yeah, I have the <laughs> e voice right now. It's yeah. like, I really do have the work voice. It's just like, welcome to <laughs> Come by a with your fucking kneecaps. Oof, you don't want to put that in. You want that leaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll not put that in. Maybe I'll bleep the name of my workplace out. Or that. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Speed Sim. I'm E House. And I'm Amy. And today we're going to talk about a subject that uh, we get asked about quite a bit, and that is magazine compatibility with Tokyo Marui platforms. Yes. Uh, so we have some high kappa magazines on the table here to yes. start with, because we have the most experience with those, but we're also going to talk about mag compatibility with a couple of other models we get asked about. Uh, we don't have those props here because those are at my house and I forgot them, but the, uh, we do have experience with them. Right. This kind of goes just for TM, WE, and KJW compatible uh, guns because other guns like the G&G, &G, the Falcon, other stuff like that are all pretty much proprietary and they're not really that cross compatible. So we're just going to stick with those three main guns and just kind of give you an overview of what our experiences has and just kind of give you a nice big general uh, idea on what you should get and what you say uh, avoid from. So starting off, um, as much as I like these, I have Pro and Mag. I have four of these. Now, as you guys know, I'm very, very religious when it comes to cleaning my gas blowback parts and guns and magazines and such. I've been taking care of these for a year now. And the biggest inherent problem with these is keeping them lubed up. Because right now, all four of mine are leaking. Either from the uh, part that holds the whole uh, chamber together on the bottom. As you guys know, there's a screw you pull out and the whole thing comes apart. Well, that's some of them are leaking from there. I've lubed them up. I've done a whole bunch of other things to it to make them not, uh, not leak. But just my continuously lubing and cleaning just, I guess, breaks it. I guess that's just what things Have you tried happen. replacing the O-rings? Proprietary. Oh, the Theron O-rings. Yes. Fun. So that's that's fun. On top of that, I mean, I haven't break, breaking any of these uh, feed lips, but again, Pro Wins are proprietary. So also good luck. You have to buy these overseas. So I, as much as I really like these, they're lightweight, they hold a lot of gas, and they're generally really good. Leaking is a huge issue with these for some reason, at least in my experience. And then getting the parts for them yes. when stuff does break, because magazines are items you have to service, mm -hmm. and we talk about this all the time. Part support is important, people. Yes. So unfortunately, Pro Wins... Hard to recommend. Right. And not a big deal, but these don't come with silent fill O-rings. Those are something you have to install after the fact. Yes. Moving along. <clears throat> WE. Oh, sorry. I forgot to one mention. These are compatible with TM and WE and KJW uh, gas pullback high kappas. And ProWin makes magazines for high kappas. To and make Glock. Yeah, and they make Glock yes. magazines or G-series magazines. G-series, sorry. Clock. And both of those are... About the same. Yeah. Uh, does Pro Win is that also proprietary for the G Series magazines for the feed lips and the O rings? I believe so. Yes. Okay. Because <clears throat> the the way they mill it out is totally different. Gotcha. From what Garrett says, he's a nerd. <laughs> uh, moving along, WE. Now WE is great. Uh, if you're in a pinch, go into a field, you figure out one or two mags, you stop by your local airsoft shop. They have plenty of these lying around. I'm pretty sure most airsoft fields have WE mags of some sort. These are great in a pinch. Problem is. After a while, you just get bursts of gas spilling out through like either your port from the barrel or out the front. For some reason, as again, my many, many cleaning of these, it just is something that inherit. I guess it's just, you know, one of these things that WE kind of overlooks. Uh, the valve back here is just kind of faulty at some point, so you have to exchange those out. But again, within your, if you're in a pinch and you're going to a field, these are great to pick up. Um, they're heavier uh, than the... TM and Proin. Obviously, Proin being the lightest of the three. Uh, these are actually heavier by 100 milligrams. 100 grams, 100 probably, grams, sorry. Yeah. 100 grams, sorry, I'm not eight. Uh, these are a little bit heavier, not an issue because they're pretty much, you can't really tell the difference. And compared I, to a loaded real magazine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, despite that, these are great, but they're not TM compatible as far as the uh, fill valve on the bottom here. These two are totally different from TM versus WE. Feed lips, uh, the um, gasket on top, and I mean, you can switch the WE between TM uh, knocker and the valve back here. You can switch them apart, mm -hmm. but again, why would you switch 
WE to TM. I mean, you, you're way better off buying a TM than sticking and messing around with the WEs. The WEs, again, again, like I said, great in a pinch, but not great for long term. You'd have to do a lot of fixing after a while. I mean, as again, airsoft parts, full breakdown. Yeah, and the WEs, from what I've seen from using them, is it's exactly what you said. They work great initially, mm -hmm. but they do take more service down the road. Yeah, they do. So you can make them continue to work well, and you can rebuild them to be as good as the TM magazines. Or brand new as yeah. you, that you bought it. Yeah, but they'll still be heavier, Very and heavy. the paint on them is incredibly cheap, even compared <laughs> to the TM, because yes. the paint on all of these is cheap. Uh, but the paint on Minus the Pro Win. Pro Win is yeah, the Pro standard. Not painted. It's not yeah. painted. So. Um, and the other thing I found with uh, WE is their 1911 mags do not work with Tokyo Marine. Awful. Awful. Well, they don't 11. work at all because they're s totally single stack. Right. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, uh, like, as far as gas use. Oh, as far as gas use, their 1911, it's a whole separate subject. Yeah. But they're uh, they're totally single stack. Not propri not compatible at all with Tokyo Marui 1911s. Nope. Uh, KJW is the other brand of magazine that is compatible with Tokyo Marui. And I would put KJW in general kind of between WE yes. and Tokyo Marui in terms of quality. Mm -hmm. uh, KJWs are, they're better built than WEs, mm -hmm. but their specs are a little different than Tokyo Marui on some guns. A little bit, yeah. Um, and the other thing to bear in mind with WEs is, as you mentioned, the uh, Fill valve is not compatible, and the reason for that is because of threading. Yes, threading and the, the length, too. These are, the WEs are shorter in length, and mm -hmm. the, the TMs are actually longer by a lot. Okay. And they're thinner. Yeah, so that's a, something else to keep in mind. Yes. And I found on my Tokyo Marui Gold Match High Kappa, the WE magazines will not lock the slide back when the gun is empty. So... The WE mags just are that little bit different in their tolerancing yep. with the uh, magazine and the follower that it just doesn't kick the slide release up enough to reliably lock the slide on an empty magazine. The Tokyo Marui, on the other hand, absolutely no problem, but that's just a little bit of a spec difference. Uh, from what I understand, the KJW magazines on the high kappas are better, but they can be kind of uh, hit and miss yep. with like the G series and yep. with the 1911, they're totally absolutely cross-compatible. I mean, single stack 1911 mags have always been helpful. Yeah, I mean, I mean well, anything off-brand from TM. Well, it, and it's an inherent issue because once you get a full metal 1911, if you run a Tokyo Marui plastic 1911 on mm -hmm. duster gas with the single stack magazine, it'll empty the full mag. Yeah. But once you get a full metal 1911 and you try to run it on green gas, what you run into is that you just don't have enough gas in that space to empty a 20-something round magazine. It just doesn't work. Yeah. But that's... Whole separate issue, that's my bit on that. Right, and one thing to note, comes with a silent fill, uh, o, uh, silent O-ring in, yeah. in the bag included. KJW and WE are the only Tokyo Marui compatible magazines that I know of that come with silent fill O-rings. The reason why I mention this is because I get questions all the time wondering why there's gas being spilled out when they're loading up their gas pull bag, high cap is 1911s, P226s, whatever, they're wondering why it's, it, spills out. It's because they don't have a silent fill O-ring. It's still filling, it just spills over the edge. So in, what you have to do is you buy TM mags, uh, you have to buy them separately, either the Moondog ones, the Madbull ones, whatever you feel like buying, just stick them in there and you won't have that problem anymore. That's the only reason why I bring these up because I get questions all the time asking why it spills over. It's because they don't come with silent O-rings with TMs. Now moving along over to the TM. I did not listen to people at first when uh, do you buying. ever? I do. <laughs> Somewhat. When it, when I'm proving wrong. Um, is I would recommend buying, if you have a TM pistol, high kappa, 1911, P226, etc. Um, I would recommend continuously buying the high, uh, the Tokyo Marui magazines. For whatever reason, uh, they're just amazing mags. They work all the time. I have zero issues with the, 19, uh, the high kappa mags, whatever, whatever. Single stack 1911s, they always work. And I don't know what the reason behind it is. I think it's just TM magic. Whatever they're using in their parts, it just always works. The the uh, uh, the valve on the back always works. The flow, uh, the feeding lip, really nothing to complain about. They've never really broken on me to begin with. Um, the only thing that I have an issue with is the uh, the silent fill O ring. I mean, that's not a huge issue, but I have to, something I have to remember to buy as I'm buying the magazines. But aside from that, I love the TMX. They hold gas really, really well, and they run extremely well on duster gas. 
The main thing with Tokyo Marui magazines that people will caution you about and that I would say something to keep in mind is they aren't necessarily built for green gas all the time. No. Uh, so you do run the risk of like blowing an O-ring or a right. gasket, but you can get those cheaply enough that you can replace or upgrade them. So as far as buying these, it's super easy to come by. I know Evic has a bunch of them. I know they have mm -hmm. for the P226, the single stack 1911s. They don't have the extended ones over here in the States. I don't know what's keeping them from buying them. Maybe they just don't sell. I mean, I would buy them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure uh, people on, on our channel want to buy them. But regardless, they're easily available. You yeah. just can't buy them at most local retail stores, depending on where you're at. California, sure, you can get them all the time. Over here in New York, that's so great. No yeah. one really sells them. So either if you're like in a place where they don't sell them readily, I would just go on Evic. They have tons of them. And if you can't find an Evic, there's other places uh, overseas. Um, Red Wolf, I believe, has them. And there's a bunch of other uh, Alpha Airsoft for those people who buy slides like me. They have them over there too. Yeah, and then there's eHobby and yeah. all those other kind of places. Tot and I know uh, Airsoft Extreme, they have yes. their online well, yeah. shop and they sell a ton of Tokyo exactly. Marui magazines. Again, California. Yeah, California. <laughs> Um, one of the big things though I do want to mention is again just because of spec differences mm -hmm. so you might be hearing all this and thinking oh great I should buy Tokyo Marui magazines for whatever gun I'm using double check and make sure they're compatible right because I only buy if you have a TM 1911 high cap a P226 anything that's yeah. Tokyo Marui you buy a Tokyo Marui gun and you get Tokyo Marui mags they will always always work that's kind of the thing with airsoft you buy a GNG gun you take the GNG mags with it it's kind of the thing you know, as as far as gas blowback goes, at least. Right, of course. I mean, yeah. AEG is totally different. Yeah. Specs. So looking for AEG magazines, it's almost like we did a video on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, 100% agreed. Like, if, if you have a Tokyo Marui, you're probably best off buying the Tokyo Marui magazines. Um, unless, you know, a lot of people really love the Pro-In mags. I love for, them too, but... But they do require some... Finesse. Some TLC. Yes. Uh, and then the WE mags, a lot of people I know who HPA tap all their magazines That's anyway... That's no problem. Yeah, they don't give a shit. It so, matter. if you're HPA tapping your gun and you're short stroking the slide anyway, it's who cares? Good. It doesn't matter, it's by the WE because you're HPA tapping and it doesn't need any finesse. Yeah. But if you're running green gas or duster gas or anything higher, which I don't understand why you would, buy something that goes with the gun. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure you're sitting here wondering what about armor works. It's just a... It's w the same clone. as WE. It's a W clone, yeah. clone with the red gasket. That's all it is. And if thing. you're going to start asking us about, like, Army and Well and yeah, all those I other no Chinese brands, you never see anyone. No one knows. I don't think the manufacturers know. <laughs> <laughs> They're all, like, yeah. it's a wild, wild west out there. Yeah. So, in terms of overall ranking for working with Tokyo Marui guns, I think it goes Tokyo Marui, KJW, WE, Pro Win. Yes. In terms of just overall working. Overall working, yeah. Whereas the Pro Wins, again, work great as long as you can keep them running. Yes. <laughs> uh, and that's where I'm going to say part support, please. But yeah, no, they won't listen. I don't even think they watch YouTube. Um, if you're going with base plates, um, UAC makes really good ones. They're going to be very tight on WE and TM. They're going to be very, very tight. Especially if you're going to go ahead and buy Pro Win. My, my saying, I would avoid it a little bit. They're very, very tight on Pro Wins. You almost have to use like a rubber mallet to get them on. But other aside from that, I mean, stay away from 5KU. They're, the metal is very cheaply done. So if you're going to buy anything, stay with Alpha Airsoft, UAC, and uh, AIP. Just stick with those and you'll be fine. All right, and I know nothing about base plates, so. Just letting you know for both people, because you'll see yeah. them on here on the video. Oh, yeah. I only wanted to mention it. But aside from that, I hope this video helps you guys. Yep. I've been trying to ponder about this for a while now, and uh, that's just been our conclusions on uh, Gas Bull Bag magazines. Yeah. Hope this was helpful. All right. Until next time, I've been E-House. I'm Amy. Peace out. See ya.